Hello friends, in this video we will explore how to change the different you know plot properties like the x and y level, the title, how to increase the fonts, those kind of things. Okay. So uh, this is the plot uh, that we will be using. Uh, this we have seen in the last videos like basic uh, point. So now uh, there is so if we want to change the title, you know, um, like the axis levels, x axis level, y axis level, the title and the subtitle. So we can use this labs uh, as another uh, function on the top of it by which we can change the titles like so we can say title equal to this, x equal to this, y equal to this. So instead of d1, so we can write d1 expression, y we can change the y and we can give some subtitle over here. Okay, so let us try this. Okay, so this we have seen uh, in the plot. Okay. So now this is the plot. So now you can see by default it has uh, taken the column name like D1 here and Y mutation. So if you want to change, so we add this labs layer. So now you can see there are many like title, subtitle, caption, tag and many are there. So we will first say title equal to, you know, just for simplicity we type ABC and X equal to D1 expression. Okay. And Y equal to let us see, do not change it, mutation, so let us see what will happen, okay, there is a, this bracket was missing, oh my mistake, okay, so I will just redo it, okay, so my mistake, so this thing, so this completes, right, this bracket and this bracket, so now you see that these two are changed and the title is changed, we can also give some subtitle equal let us say you know small abc so this will add a subtitle over here okay so simply you uh, we type labs function and give all this parameter so next uh, if we want to remove just title so we can simply specify null so that that will remove so let us say that subtitle equal to let sub let subtitle remain and uh, remove the title so in the title place we say that uh, it is null Okay, so you will see that uh, ABC is now removed and the space whatever was consumed it is automatically adjusted and subtitle was remaining. Now if you want to remove the subtitle further we say null uh, okay, and so now the subtitle is also removed. So we have the these levels are there, title is not there so that way you can uh, off the uh, this thing and similarly you can also uh, if you do not want why so you can specify it null over here. I hope this will work. I am just guessing it. Yeah. So the Y level is also removed. And if you do not want X, so you can also simply specify null. So this way it will remove the corresponding level. So now, uh, now this is an interesting part and important part. If you want to change the font type something, we have to use a theme because this is the theme uh, like color, everything is the theme we want to change it. So instead of that, so we add another layer plus theme and here we are saying what you want to change. Let us say I want to change the Excel tit axis title on X axis that is this is the axis X axis and the title is this thing and I want to do this is the text right. So the, we, uh, the this we have to uh, change like equal to element underscore text another function and here you can change size, face, font size, font family lot of thing we can give in the element dot uh, text so let's do one thing that let's change that particularly so yeah this is title is equal to abc okay so this is we will be using now we say theme and within that you can see a lot of uh, uh, very properties are there okay so let's for example axis dot title okay title and again you want to say x okay axis title dot x that means this one so let's increase it so element underscore text because we are modifying the text and within that let us say size equal to 25 and um, the you know face uh, equal to let us say bold okay and we can also give you know color equal to let us say red. So now you see the size of x axis now changed to 25 and it has become bold and it is the color is equal to red. So now let us do for y axis, so then uh, you specify another parameter, okay. So now this is 
this bracket now if you give inside here this will be wrong because this bracket is now finished so now here give you we give axis dot title okay dot y equal to what we want to change element underscore text and let's say size equal to again same thing 25 but this time let's say give um, color equal to green and face equal to italic okay so let's see what will happen so now you see it is changed uh, to italic and uh, it is changed to green color and it is uh, you know, uh, italic and size is equal to 25 similarly if you want to change uh, let's say uh, this uh, this one right so now still this is not visible 1 2 3 4 this is the axis text okay so now we say axis dot text equal to so if you don't specify x and y it will be applied to both so element underscore text so let's increase the size to let's say 12 and let's say color equal to blue color so what happened so now the size changed this thing so if let's increase further to let's make it to 18 so now you can change that so now it is applied to both axes so we did not have to change uh, specify axis dot text dot x y so if you want to differentiate x and y so you can further specify axis dot text dot x and y like that okay and now you can also uh, change the title let's say so i want the title so for that we have the plot you know we can give the plot background let's say you know i don't know it will work or not so let's try let me try it okay it is not working okay so for plot background sorry we have to give element rectangle let me try otherwise you know yeah it is you know background is green color but on the top of that canvas is there so let's not worry about that okay so what i was saying like we have to change the title right plot dot title equal to so again it is a text element underscore text and let's say size equal to 30 okay so now you will see that the size is changed okay so now if you just simply type theme and question mark it will open the help page and here we can see what all things we can do okay we can change axis title you know all these axis related properties then we can change the tick marks tick marks means this tick marks small black is that we can increase the line you know of that and change the color that will apply to the tick marks and we have some legend related thing we can give this legend uh, uh, we will see legend dot position we can let me show you it will work or not legend dot position equal to let's say bottom so now you see that the legend is now changed to bottom here and if you want simply top so you specify top over here so these all are the themes right we are changing the theme of the plots so plot is already drawn but we are now modifying the uh, theme like we I, we do not want on the right hand side we want on the top so that way we have uh, you know legend dot position also we can change and some other parameters like we can change the panel background okay so this is i think the panel background will be uh, let's say we want uh, again i'm trying it okay so let's say you know green no again yeah we have to give element rectangle because that is the rectangle property right it is not a text we cannot directly give green so okay so there are lot many functions are this now so the now you see that panel is now changed okay so many many properties are there so uh, you can always refer this help page and based on that you can uh, check like what all tuning you can do it okay so this is what the main purpose of introducing uh, to this concept like there is a theme is there and with this theme we can change uh, various axis properties we can change mm, you know uh, uh, the legends and let's say we want to uh, change this line you know axis dot line so let's say if you want to change this line another axis dot line i think axis dot line we have to check what property you know we have to change but yes you can uh, change uh, axis dot line this is the line property we have to change let's say we want to what i am trying to say increase the thickness okay so we say that axis dot line equal to because it is a line so we have to use element uh, line function okay 
and here let's say uh, size equal to three. Okay, so now you see that this axis line thickness has changed. So very nice way uh, you can go to this help page and just play with this parameter uh, like what all things uh, you can ch do to change. Okay, so we have uh, so this is the main thing we have seen two uh, additional thing from the last videos. Just we added labs to change the uh, different labels. And you can use the theme function to change the different themes, uh, the color, size, uh, shape, size like that. And we this I also had talked like region positions can be changed. Yeah. Okay. So now this is an, another point. Like if you want to, you know, uh, instead of here, if you want over here, so you can specify this position where you want at the starting point. So here in the theme, you can say region dot position equal to c means the x position and y coordinate of the this top corner like 0 0.9 0 0.2 we can give so that uh, the legend can be even placed inside the uh, plot or now this is an inter important concept like the scaling like so so now if you see the default plot over here uh, the scale uh, you know the let's say 0 to 4 is there okay so now if you want to change it so you can use the x slim uh, you you type a plus then you say that x like 0 to 10 so now you will see that this is changed into 0 to 10 over here so lot many blank over area, area is there and now if you want to change the y limit parameter let's say 0 to 50000 okay so now you will see that uh, the plot x scale is changed from 0 to 10 over here and 0 to 50000 over here so if you can simply reduce it to let's say zeros to uh, instead of 10 let's say 0 to 1 and 0 to let's say 5000 so it's like coming to like zooming we completely zooming in this area of the in a previous plot okay so previous plot was somewhere here so we are this zooming this plot so this way by changing this x limb and y limb you know two more uh, you know additional layer we can change which part we want to see it okay so thanks uh, i think uh, this is this covers the way by which using theme function x limb and labs we have seen so we'll we have finished the scatter plot and we saw the trend line so in the next we will move to the another uh, category of plot that is the bar plot uh, which applies on the categorical and data so thanks i hope this was useful and if you like it uh, so please like this video and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe so this will uh, grow the channel Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.